I can't say happy Wednesday morning. It's not Wednesday morning. It's a Monday evening at 5.30. Um, and I don't have a cup of coffee. Um, lemonade this time. Um, I was thinking that I wanted to um, come tonight and just reflect for a few minutes about the about the election tomorrow. And right up front, I'm going to tell you that um, please don't construe anything that I say to be I'm an, encourage, an encouragement to vote for one person over another or one party over another. Um, I am, that is not my intent at all. Um, vote, I encourage you to vote Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, um, whatever. Um, I encourage you to vote. And like I said, um, I'm just reflecting on um, on our society, the nature of elections, and um, giving encouragement to pray to pray about it as well. Um, so right off the bat, um, I guess everybody is anxious about the about the election tomorrow. Everybody is. Um, <clears throat> we've all seen political commercials um, till we're sick and tired of seeing them. Um, and I think that our electorate, our society is uh, really divided right now, um, badly divided, and it shouldn't be that way. It really shouldn't be that way. Um, so going into tomorrow, and the first thing I want to say is please be very intentional in praying about the election and in praying for the nation. Um, and I'll give you several specifics. Pray for the people who are working at the polling places. And they, they won't, they're going to get up very early tomorrow morning at three or four in the morning or whatever time they have to get up and will spend a long day um, checking IDs and handing out ballots and all of that necessary work. Um, they're good, they're good, honest people and pray for them. Um, pray for people who are going to vote, especially those who, um, for one reason or another, would have difficulty going to a polling place who um, have, you know, physical handicaps, their, mo their mobility impaired, um, you know, issues like that, pray for them so that they would have the ability to go vote. Um, pray for, pray for the candidates, pray for the candidates, um, and up and down the, up and down the slate not just the presidential candidates, but also, um, we don't need either one of our senators are up in North Carolina, but um, U.S. House of Representatives, um, state legislature, governor, um, the council of state races, local elections, pray for all of those candidates. Pray for the poll workers who will be there tomorrow night reporting the votes and then double checking them. For the media. For the media. Um, simply pray that they would do their do their jobs with fairness. truth, that they would be guided by fairness and truth, um, and then pray for our nation. Pray for our nation. We, we're badly divided, and we need healing. Whoever is elected, and again, I'm not advocating here 
you know, in one party over another, one person over another. Um, but we need healing. We as a nation need healing. We're far too badly divided politically. Um, I want to remind you of this. Um, we live in a <clears throat> we live in a republic, a constitutional republic, um, and we have a duty as citizens of a republic to take our responsibility to vote seriously, to vote wisely, and as John Adams put it, um, second president, one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, one of the Declaration of Independence, one, he wrote that we are a government of laws and not of men, um, or in men in, inclusive as we would look at it now. Um, meaning that for us, citizens of a republic, what matters most is process. What matters most is process. We cherish the process more than the outcome. And that's really important. <clears throat> we cherish the process, the voting process, the electoral process. We cherish that more than the outcome. We are a nation of laws and not of men, or a nation of laws and not of men and women. We are, <clears throat> from the outset, from our founding, we are, we have been a shining city on a hill. That's who we are. The earliest settlers, earliest colonists, envisioned this new world that they were planting their feet on to be a shining city on a hill. Now, we don't always get it right. Obviously not, if you look at American history. But from our founding, we, uh, people envisioned us, this nation, to be a shining city on a hill, to be a model, to be a beacon of hope and freedom and at our best, that's what we have been. At our best, we have stood with peoples and nations that are oppressed. That's when we have been at our best. In our practices, democratic practices of running elections and free elections and a court system in passing of laws, we have been a model for the rest of the world. Um, that's who we are to be. That is what we have been. And I think we should take that seriously. And the last thing I want to mention is this. Um, no American citizen is an enemy of another American citizen. We may, we may have political differences, and that's okay, but we are American citizens. We are Americans, and whatever our political differences are, we are Americans, and there are no enemies amongst American citizens, just people who sometimes disagree. The other thing that I'll mention in closing is that no human being is garbage. No human being is garbage. Human beings, humanity, are created in the image of God. We are created in the image of the Almighty. And no human no human being, be they resident of Puerto Rico or a supporter of one candidate or another, is garbage. So, one last thing I'm going to leave with you, and um, I'm going to quote from somebody a lot smarter than me. I'm going to leave you with this quote from Abraham Lincoln from his first inaugural address. 
We are not enemies, but friends. We must not be enemies. The passion may have strained it. It must not break our bonds of affection. The mystic cords of memory stretching from every battlefield and patriot grave to every living heart and hearthstone all over this broad land will yet swell the course of the Union when again touched as surely as will be by the better angels of our nature. By the better angels of our nature. As we go to vote tomorrow and in how we react to whatever the results are and how we interact with each other, particularly how we interact with people who may have differences of opinion politically, in all of that, let us be guided by the better angels of our nature. With that, I encourage you to go vote tomorrow and to take seriously of what I said about praying for, for the election. Not about who should win the election. I'll leave that up to God. Um, but that, but pray for the process. Pray for the poll workers, those who are going to vote. Pray that the best person will win for any of these elections. And, like I said, let us be guided by the better angels of our nature. Have a great evening.